is supposed to be a legitimate impression from Princess Yellowfeather from a pet store in Florida. Uh, do you think talented or annoying? That would drive you crazy very quickly. <laughs> I, I think it's there's About somebody behind seconds. the camera. Yeah. Who likes listening to a sibling constantly singing? You're like, shut up. Like, yeah. like is this or what they thought sitting of next you? to Sarah Haynes. My brother <laughs> used to do that. <laughs> I'm kidding. We love you, Sarah. Uh, coming up, a more serious animal story. The shark who tried to swallow a yes. surfer uh, during a competition. This was a terrifying scene, seen all over the world, as a matter of fact. We now have new videos surrounding this all-too-close encounter. So first, we're going to start with the dad who allegedly got so angry at the teenagers fighting with his daughter that police say he resorted to truly drastic measures. The frightening moments were all caught on camera, how he allegedly... Look at this, oh. tries to run over this group of teens with his SUV as they dove out of his way. And now, not surprisingly, he is facing a slew of charges. And ABC's Aditi Roy joins us in studio with more. Hi, Aditi. Hi there, Paula and Dan. Good morning to you. And what you're about to see may make your heart race an SUV barreling towards a group of teens. Investigators say the man behind the wheel, an angry father seeking revenge. This morning, an angry father in jail, facing 12 counts of assault and attempted battery, after police say he tried to run down a group of kids in what he claims was defense of his daughter. The chaos caught on camera. Watch as this SUV jumps the curb and charges toward a group of teens who scream and scramble. Everybody was scared. They thought they was going to hit him. They, they just started running. Fortunately, no one was hurt. Police say the man behind the wheel is 56-year-old Roy Williams. Investigators say Williams' 13-year-old daughter was involved in a fight with two other teenage girls. When Williams found out about it, authorities say he threatened the girls with his cane, then got in his SUV, and the rest was caught on tape by 15-year-old Nathan Velas. I didn't know that we had to get out of the way before he ended up hitting one of us. Jolly Santiago was one of the teens in the path of the careening car. I heard somebody say he better not hit us. So I turned around and looked, and then I seen him coming, and I just took off running down there, and I didn't know what to do, so I just jumped to the car. Incidentally, authorities say it was Williams who called police to the scene to report the fight. Once they got there and heard what allegedly happened, they arrested him. Velas and Santiago relieved that Williams is off the road and behind bars. I'm just scared of silver cars now. <laughs> Now, no one was injured or charged in the fight that allegedly sparked the SUV incident. This morning, Williams is being held on a $150,000 bond. He was not available for comment on what happened. It's amazing that no one was injured. Yeah, I mean, obviously, it's wildly inappropriate if you're trying to hurt other kids, but you can understand a dad being uh, You understand that impulse, child. absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. And Aditi, he, thank you. Yeah, and he's lucky that everyone was able to get out of his way yeah, and that they fair. all were able to die. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Aditi. And we want to send things back over to Ron for another look at this morning's headlines. Hi, Ron. Hi, Dan. again, Paula and Dan. Good morning, everyone. In the news, that piece of a plane found on an island off the coast of Africa is in France now for analysis. This could, could solve the mystery of the missing Malaysian Airlines uh, flight that uh, disappeared uh, some time back. There's now growing certainty that is from that airliner that went missing 16 months ago. It could hold clues as to why the plane carrying 239 passengers disappeared without a trace. And there's a breakthrough this morning uh, in the fight against Ebola. A World Health Organization study published Friday says an experimental Ebola vaccine tested on thousands of people in the western national of Guinea seems to be working and could stop the spread of the virus. Ebola has killed more than 11,000 people since the outbreak began last year. And pro basketball player Jordan Hill, he was arrested near Atlanta for allegedly speeding after police say they clocked him going 107 miles an hour. He was caught on police dash cam. Take a look at this. That's Hill's uh, Black Range Rover you see up there uh, weaving in traffic. The speed limit there, by the way, was 65 miles an hour. And finally, in Texas, a blast from the past on Friday. The uh, staff of a Houston post office opened a time capsule from 1962. The capsule contained front pages from Houston's newspapers and pictures, photographs of then-President John F. Kennedy. There was oh, an wow. envelope inside with a stamp on it, the cost of a first-class letter at the time, four cents. Four cents. Did it? Four cents. They didn't have forever stamps back then? They did not have forever stamps. <laughs> <laughs> Quite handy. And, and, and finally, everything is purple. Everything is purple. <laughs> And if I your lips, that. if your lips sinking and you don't know the word, just say peanut butter. That also yeah. works. As this well. this could be a chance to earn an A today. Really? Possibly. An A and pop no, 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 like that. Me, She's Ron. very fragile. No more singing, or else everyone is going to. No more singing, or everyone's going right. to change the channel.
<laughs> Let's go to Ch Chicago, shall we? <laughs> Let's do that. <laughs> There's a picture for you at Lakeshore Drive. There it is. Uh, a streak of 90-degree days all week so long. Great. It was hot, but it is beautiful this morning. Paula Ferris, you are correct. Hi, Temps Chicago. in the 60s there. And Lake Michigan looks very, very inviting. Temps getting up into the upper 80s. There is a severe weather threat for Chicago. More so tomorrow. Today, it's across parts of Iowa, maybe Omaha, Nebraska, getting up through Sioux uh, City. Large hail, maybe some damaging winds as these clusters of thunderstorms begin to develop along this front. A little uh, wave developing across parts of North Dakota. And this uh, cold front will you know, mix up with the warm front a little bit and create some thunderstorms. Also, a little cool front trying to get through the Northeast. We don't really, you know, it's cool front, but it's weakening. and. I don't expect to see a whole lot of thunderstorms, but there's a slight chance, especially upstate New York and parts of uh, New England. This is Hurricane Guillermo, which is about 1,000 miles away from Hawaii. It is almost a Category 3 storm, right now a Category 2 with 105 miles an hour winds, and it will be heading in the general direction of Hawaii. These are, it's difficult to get all the way there, uh, but it's going to make a go at it. It should weaken by the time it reaches the Big Island. Temperatures in Houston today, 99 degrees. That doesn't include the humidity. Here's your local forecast. Good morning to you. Closer to home, temperatures start off comfortable for us early on around 8 o'clock, 76 degrees, but already by noon, we're into the mid and upper 80s. Highs today back in the 90s. Not super muggy, so good there, but still going to be a hot one. This weather forecast brought to you by Flonase, the new Flonase allergy relief. I need some sort of relief right now. My allergies oh, are killing you. Oh, anyway. No, good. never from you. <laughs> if Ron keeps singing, everything is purple. We'll all We're all going to need relief. Uh, coming up here on Marvel's GMA. Okay. Mellifluous. <laughs> good use of the word. Also incorrect. Uh, the surfer who <laughs> survived a shark attack coming up. Now the pictures you didn't see. More of what happened during those chaotic moments in the water. And Sarah, what's happening with you? I haven't gotten anyone to dance yet, but we're periscoping right now. Uh, live on the show. Oh, we're getting dancing. We're getting dancing. Last week we had the hustle. The second we get Dan to actually dance, I it's a drop this phone it, it, moment. It won't be mellifluous. <laughs> It won't be no, mellifluous. No. It'll be superfluous. <laughs> but everything. <laughs> yeah, that was well played. Well played. And gratuitous. Yeah. <laughs>